So about four months ago, I made a video called Protest Distros, I Finally Get It. And in that video, I said these words here. My protest, the hill that I'm going to die on, the, the hill that I'm going to stand on and just shout out to all, everyone, I will stand on that hill and say that I will use Xorg until they don't let me use Xorg anymore. I'm going to use it for a very, very long time, and I'm going to be that person who uses protest distros that only ship Xorg from now on, or at least offer an Xorg version from now on. If your distro, Fedora, decides to ship a desktop environment that only has Wayland, I won't be using it, because you're using Wayland, and I'm protesting that. Now, so... I have a confession to make, and you might have spotted it already if you paid attention to the accoutrement on my desktop. I'm using Wayland today, and I have been, probably as the, you guys actually seeing this video, for well over two weeks. And you might be wondering, first off, Matt, why did you change your mind? Second, you're probably wondering, Matt, is Wayland better now than it was before? If, if so, is that what caused you to change your mind? And also, what happened to Xorg? Well, I'm going to answer those questions today. I have a little bit of crow to eat, a little bit of uh, hands to ring, if you will. And I, I, I'm going to talk about why I finally made the switch, made the hop to Wayland. And we're going to find out whether or not Matt, who has been notoriously anti-Wayland, or yeah, anti-Wayland, has become a Wayland fanboy. We're going to find that out. So before we jump into all that, if you leave a thumbs up on this video, I'd really appreciate it. It would really help the channel. So let's actually take you right to my Wayland desktop here. And you guys can see that I'm actually in Hyperland. And Hyperland is a window manager. We're going to call them window managers. We've all gotten together, uh, at least in my head, and we've all agreed that it's going to be a window manager, not a compositor, because... It's a, we have a name for these things. It manages Windows. So if I were to open up, you know, Windows, it's managing my Windows. It's a it's a window manager. But that's a, a rant for another day. I'm using Hyperland, and it is, as I've t talked about in videos about it before, is a very cool window manager. It has a lot of cool features, has a lot of animations and stuff like that that make it pretty. And you guys all know that I prefer my window managers to be very aesthetically pleasing. Hyperland has the possibility to be amazing in that regard and always has, but because it's Wayland, I've always had a hard time with it, right? So what made me switch? Well, some of it was, and actually most of it was pure boredom. I was on Xmonad for quite a while, and I actually have a blog post about this. I think it's still Patreon only, but eventually it'll come out to everybody else, where I talk about how I was basically getting sick of Xmonad. I needed a new window manager, but I've tried all the other window managers, and either they weren't working or they didn't do things the way that I wanted them to do it, and um, yada, 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 really, I, I was just bored, and I needed something new, and uh, someone in my Discord, or at least, actually, probably multiple people in my Discord, they're all using Wayland, right, or they're all using Hyperland, I should say, and I see these guys make their Hyperland desktops look really cool, and they're always messing around with Waybar and all this stuff, and I'm like, you know what, I want that, and you know what? I'm going to give Wayland another try. And like I said, most of it was boredom, but also I hear constantly how Wayland is ready, how it's actually, if you give it a good chance, you're going to have a good experience, even if you're on an NVIDIA card. Well, now I don't have an NVIDIA card, but I've always had a poor experience. Like I said in that video that I just showed you guys, and I'll link that down below, I have always had a bad experience with Wayland, usually when it comes to screen capturing. And you guys are seeing me capture the screen right now, hopefully. <laughs> and ho hopefully this isn't, you know, jinxing it. And it w seems to work pretty fine. You know, I'm just, you know, I can open up Windows here. I can open up a browser, whatever. And I, I can record those things. And that was always one of the biggest issues that I had when it comes to actually using Wayland, because I need to be able to capture my screen. If you guys want videos from me, I have to be able to do that, right? So I've always had that problem, and I've been hearing people say, well, you know, it's finally fixed. It doesn't have nearly as many problems as it had before, and I was like, you know what, 
fine. I will give it a hard try this time. So in my previous attempts at Wayland, specifically with window managers, I gave it a try for a day. <laughs> like usually by the end of the day, I was done with it because I was having so many problems, specifically again with screen capture and things like that. Also, there was another problem I should say before I move on, is that I had a hard time getting my monitors to go to sleep on Wayland. And this this is not really a Wayland problem because it happened on Xwork sometimes too, but it happened all the time on Wayland. And I needed my screens to go off, but I couldn't solve that problem. So this time I decided I was going to dedicate my, myself to two things. One, I'm actually going to use it for a long period of time. Right? I, I, I want to sit down and use it for multiple weeks and solve the problems when they pop up. I'm going to actually put some effort into making the theme and all that stuff work for me well. I'm going to learn how to use Waybar because I didn't know how to use Waybar all that well. I'm going to learn how to, to or I'm going to go through and get all of the applications that I need to replace because they either don't work on Wayland or whatever, or I'm going to get the alternatives. I'm going to do all this stuff. I'm going to actually buy into the entire ecosystem of Wayland and Hyperland and see how it goes. Now, in order to do this, in order for me to have been successful with this, I needed to solve two problems. I needed to solve the window capture, the screen capture problem, and I needed to solve the monitors going to sleep. Speaking of that, I need to turn on the, the idle in indicator or the idle inhibitor to make sure my my screens don't actually go to sleep. But the point is, is that I had to solve the problems. So let me talk about the monitors first, because that was actually the biggest problem more recently. Now, overall, the longer period of time, the screen capture was the bigger problem because that's been going on for a long time. But recently, that has gotten better, and I knew that it had gotten a little bit better, but the monitors was still a problem. This time, I actually managed to fix it. It took me a while, a lot of Googling to actually figure it out, and I found at least a workaround that has worked for me over the course of the last couple of weeks, and that solution is to ignore the monitors going to sleep altogether and just put the computer into suspend mode. Basically, it just shuts it down and it stores everything into memory and it just suspends it. Now, I've used suspend on a laptop before. I've never truly used it on a desktop PC before. I didn't know how well it would work, but overall it has worked really, really well. It turns off all the monitors. It solved the Xmonad problem that I was having where two of my monitors would turn on and one of them wouldn't. I haven't had any of that problem so far, so that's really good. So I've solved the monitor problems to my satisfaction. It doesn't do exactly what I like because I would prefer the computer to stay on so I can have access to the file server, but I'm finding some workarounds for that. I've decided to use a different computer for that that actually will work with monitors going off and all that stuff. So I've had to find some workarounds to this in order to continue the way my workflow has always gone, but I've gotten that fixed. In terms of screen capture, eh, I'm still... It's not all the way there. I, I wish I could come to you and report that I've had zero problems with sc screen capture, but I cannot do that. Uh, for, the first thing that I had a problem with is that it would work, but eventually when I switched to a different scene, so like if I went to my webcam here and then switched back to the no cam where my camera is gone, it would be frozen, right? The the screen capture would no longer be working. We've I've managed to get that fixed by changing from the Hyperland portal that's in the OpenSUSE repositories to the Git version. Basically, I built it from source. That solved that problem, and that was good. I figured, you know, if that's the only problem that I'm going to have, that's fine. But <laughs> unfortunately, it's not the only problem that I, I'm having. So recently, for whatever reason, the last couple days, I've had this issue where when I open up OBS and select the screen that I want to capture in the portal, it won't actually capture that screen. And it's weird. It's always one screen. I can always record. The, so I have three monitors. It will record two of the monitors or capture two of the monitors. It won't record. It won't capture the third monitor. I have to actually restart the portal with system CDL and actually for it to actually work. And I had to do that again this time. And, you know, that's annoying. We'll just, I don't know if that's a Wayland problem or if that's a Hyperland issue. I've filed the bug on, on the Hyperland GitHub repo, and we'll see how that goes, because they're usually pretty responsive, so we'll see if they can fix that. See, so it's not 100% there, but I can handle it. I, if I have to restart the portal every time I make a video, that's not that big a deal. I don't I don't make videos all the time, like like, not, like I'm doing this 24-7 or whatever, and I have to constantly redo it. I have to If I have to do it once a day, not a big deal. It works just fine the way it is, and once I reset the portal or restart the portal, 
it will actually start working and I'm golden to go. So the screen capture, while it's not perfect, it's better than it has ever been before when I tried Wayland. And that's good. I mean, that was those those two problems there were the primary hurdles to me coming to Wayland. They were the, the biggest problem. But I talk about in many of the videos that I that I have talked about my anti Wayland stance about how I just don't get why I need to use Wayland, right? Why what benefit does this give me that I don't get on Xorg? And the thing is, is that I still don't have the answer to that question. I really don't, guys. Wayland's fine. It's perfectly usable now, and I'm happy that I'm here, but mostly, but mostly because it has solved my boredom, right? It has allowed me to go and create a new bar several different times. I'm still playing around with Waybar and learning all the CSS that I've forgotten after 10 years of not using CSS. It actually got me to take a CSS course again, so I can actually kind of re-up on it, because there's a lot of stuff that's changed over the course of the last 10, 15 years. So, you know, I, I've been, you know, I've been able to spend a lot of time and effort putting into making sure that my desktop looks and acts and works the way that I want it to work. I've also delved deep into the Hyperland documentation and created a whole bunch of key bindings and rules and stuff like that to make everything work exactly the way that I want it to work, or at least as close as I can get it, right? And that's been very fun for me, because I truly missed the you know setting up a window manager and making it my own it's something that i've not been doing as often recently you guys probably have seen very few racing videos from me over the course of the last six months and i missed it i was able to do that with hyperland and it was fun so that's a benefit i suppose but that would have been a benefit if i you know went and used herps left wm or left wm or something like that i would have had to set up those similarly and i would have had similar fun doing that that's not a wayland benefit for me personally, I still don't see the benefit of Wayland. All it has done has caused me to put effort into making my computer work again. And while I've got there and I've had fun doing it because I'm a nerd, I don't see the benefits actually of actually using it still. That's, that's from a user perspective, that's my stance and that's where my stance has always been really. I mean, besides the bug, you know, criticisms. My stance has always been, what do I get as a user? Now, I know that sounds entitled and all that stuff, but I can't... My perspective as a developer, which I'm not a developer, it, it would be completely different if, if I were to talk about it. Because I understand from a development standpoint, there's a lot of reasons and loads of reasons, lots of big reasons why Wayland is better. You know, Xorg is crusty, the, the code base was unmaintainable... All that stuff, perfectly valid reasons why Wayland exists. From a user perspective, though, I still, I don't get it. It's fine. It works. And it's beginning to work at least as well as Xorg does. I'm, I'm, I'm there at that point where I'll say that if you have a system that is compatible with it and you are willing to put in the effort to get to the point where it starts working for you, Wayland is as good as Xorg, at least in terms of using it day to day. And that's a big step for me personally, because I wasn't there yet four months ago when I said I was going to die on that hill. But from a user's perspective, I'm still not quite sure what the benefit is besides solving Matt's boredom. You know what I mean? It's, it's just not it's not something that I've really, truly understood. Now, w Hyperland is a little bit differently. It's I look at it a little bit differently. I understand that Wayland enables a lot of this stuff. So I suppose if I were to get into the, the minute details where, you know, I have all these really cool animations and that's really cool. I mean, Wayland allows all that stuff without having to add in any extra tools. So that's neat, I suppose, but I don't need any of that stuff. It's not a useful feature. I haven't found the useful feature, to be honest with you, for Wayland or even Hyperland. They're just good. That's really all that matters. And I suppose if I look into, if I look at it in a way where I know that Xorg is die, dying and or is going to be dead very, very soon, and I look at it as Wayland needs to be good enough to replace Xorg. It doesn't need a top tier feature to get me to switch. It's not something, it's not a new distro or a new way of doing a distro. It's not NixOS. I don't have to, you know, it doesn't have to do things differently. It just has to be as good as the thing that it's replacing. What this is isn't an improvement so much from a user perspective. It's just a replacement for something that is no longer maintained. And if I look at it that way, I understand. If I'm looking at it as, well, what's the user benefit? Well, 
that's where I come into problems because there's not actually a huge user benefit. What it is is just a it's providing users the ability to continue to use their computers with an up-to-date graphics stack because Xorg is dying or is dead, right? So that's the whole benefit. That's the whole way that I have to to look at it, and I'm I'm coming around to that, right? Like I'm I'm no longer expecting there to be some grand brand new feature or whatever that it's is going to make me happy that's an entitled way of looking at things and i understand that and i'll i'm toning that down now there is a couple other areas where i need to talk about so first a, a big problem for a lot of people when it comes to using wayland specifically on compositors at least is gaming now i don't do a lot of gaming on my main machine usually i use my steam deck for that at least so far I will say that gaming has been better on Wayland this time than it was the last time that I tried it so far. Now, granted, I've only played a couple games. I've spent a few, you know, maybe 10 or 15 hours in City Skylines. It works fine. It works at least as well as it does on Xorg. And that's really all that I need to, to, to know. It doesn't work as well as it does on Xorg. Now, I do not care about frames per second, or at least I don't pay attention to frames per second. So if you're in like a shooter or something like that, or you're you know, playing some games where frames per second really matters, I don't, I can't tell you whether or not it's better or worse on Wayland. A lot of people say that it's way worse. I don't have that experience because City Skylines only runs at 30 frames per second anyways, and it gets that, at least as far as I can tell. There's no, like, drop frames or anything like that, so it works fine in City Skylines too. Uh, elsewhere, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm not much of a shooter guy, so at least not anymore. So I, I can't really tell you how that works, but it does run them fine. And you guys are gonna remember, I'm I just the the frames per second argument thing has just never been very good for me because I can't really notice the difference between sixty and ninety. Anyways, my eyes are horrible. So in terms of gaming, it does seem to be better than it was last time because last time I used it, it was very very laggy. This time, not so much. So I've switched to Wayland and I've switched to Hyperland, and I'm continued going to continue to use it now for probably until I get bored and need to find something different because now my complaints about Wayland really kind of fall down into the the realm of we need some more window managers we really need more window managers because I want more choice because I like to hop between window managers right now there aren't a lot of window managers out there that use Wayland there's Qtile there's Hyperland there's Sway and then there's a whole bunch of really small kind of half maintained window managers out there that you know may or may not survive the year you know the ones that i'm talking about so it's unlike in xorg where we have a whole bunch of window managers that are either you know still readily maintained or are basically finished right they've been finished for a long time and they just work my problem with wayland now because i always have to have some kind of problem i can't just be happy about things <laughs> I, I my problem right now is just that there's not the, the amount of choice that i was happy with on xorg I, you know because if i got sick of x monad i could go to qtile if i got sick of qtile i could go to i3 or bspwm or dwm or whatever you name it there was 30 different options with xorg with when with wayland there's three basically. Now, there's a few other smaller ones that you could use, but they're not well developed, not well maintained in terms of like a broad community that's going to maintain them. And you worry about them still being around for a while. So, you know, they there's an issue here. There's a dearth of options and choice, and that's unusual when it comes to this kind of thing. I think, though, that over time that will, you know, solve itself. Eventually, we'll, we'll have the same amount of choice on Wayland as we did on Xorg. It's just going to take some time now that Wayland's actually something that can be used by the vast majority of people. So, I switched to Wayland. I've that whole four months ago thing where I said I was going to die on the hill of Xorg did not last very long. But I've seen, I, I, I think that they would say I've come to Jesus. I, I've, I've seen the light, if you will. If, if I, how many different metaphors can I come up with? I don't know. But I, I've seen it. I, I've decided that Xorg, unfortunately, is going to go the way of the dodo. Uh, we know that for sure, even if I took a while to admit it. And I needed to start getting to the point where I've spent some time in Wayland and know what I'm doing so that when the time does come and I can't absolutely fall back to Xorg, you know, I, I can say, well, you know, I can just use Wayland and I'm going to be fairly happy about it. So I've done it. It's it's done. And I'm mostly happy. So that's it for this video. If you guys have thoughts on this whole thing, you can leave those in the comment section below. I, I know I'm always very wishy-washy about what I use. I always have been. Some of it is the 
you know, I have phenomenal ADD when it comes to my computer. I like to change things a lot. I change color schemes a lot, or at least I used to. And it's just kind of the way that I've always been. So I understand that that bugs a lot of people because there, there, there are those people out there that have been using the same thing for the last 30 years and are very, very happy about it. And uh, they don't understand people who's changed things all the time. So uh, unfortunately, that's just the way that I am. So anyways, that's it for this video. Comments in the comment section below. If you can follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash the Linuxcast. You can also head on over to the store at shop.thelinuxcast.org. There you'll find desk mats and hats and hoodies and stuff. There's also a couple brand new t-shirts over there that i just created that were that look pretty awesome so if you want to go over and check those out you can as well that shop that the cast.org all of the stuff all the proceeds that come from there go directly to helping me make more linux content so thank you so very much if you've done so thanks to everybody who does support me on patreon and youtube you guys are all absolutely amazing uh, uh just seriously thank you so very much for your support i truly just every day i like seriously you guys are awesome and i can't believe that people support me to do this silly thing on youtube so thank you so very much for your support thanks everybody for watching i'll see you next time